Hey guys, Chit Fahadans here. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at modifying the Rokinon 35 1.5 Cine or Semiang uh, into anamorphaking. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add an oval insert to this lens. Um, what we're gonna need for this process is the lens itself, uh, Samyang or Rokinon 35 1.5 Cine version. This one is an EF mount. That's the mount that I think is the best. Um, we're also gonna need a lens wrench, a Phillips triple zero screwdriver. Uh, we're gonna be using small scissors. We have Aperture discs, these are acrylic. You can get them off eBay. This is the original transparent one. This is the black one that we're gonna be using. It has already been fitted with these tiny loops of tape that are gonna come in handy later. And you're gonna need a tiny amount of colorful marking tape. The first thing we're gonna do is, one, memorize where this little notch on the mount is. So I know it lines up with the aperture marker. That's gonna be very important in a little bit. Now that we have observed this, uh, we're gonna take out the lens mount. So I'm using a Phillips driver here just to take out the three screws. Just make sure you don't lose any of these. They're very tiny. We can take out the mount and this gives us very good access to the rear group of the lens. Once we take out the lens mount, we gotta watch for this line on the aperture ring, the aperture indicator, because that syncs up with the notch on the lens mount that we wanna follow. And then we're gonna get a tiny paper tape uh, triangle that lines up with this. So here's my line, here's my triangle. It's not the best alignment, but it's good enough. We're gonna probably have to fine tune this later. And then use the lens wrench to loosen the initial tension on the rear element. But as soon as that's passed, you can unscrew it until it comes down. Yay! This brings us to the aperture mechanism. And these are all the blades, and this is where we wanna go. But there's not a lot of room in here. So we're gonna attach the disc to the back to the inside of the rear group. And we're gonna do that by using paper tape. So I'm gonna set the lens aside and we have the disc here. You can get these ovals on eBay. I've been selling them for a long time. They're made of thin acrylic and this one is already painted black and it's fitted for this lens. So it's a perfect fit over here. And the whole point of using this mark was that we knew the disc has to be perpendicular to it. So here's the mark, here's the disc. It's not the best. I gotta get something like this. So I'm gonna add some paper tape to the sides of this disc. Sorry. Gonna make tiny loops. Add one. Where's my second loop? Second loop. And Two, and it's important that these are small so they don't touch the glass inside in the back in the rear group. Now we're gonna try to make it sideways. This guy's sticking out a little bit. Go back in. Yeah. So this is here. Sideways and press it down to secure it. So now we have this and the oval is kind of perpendicular to it. Mm, not super. I'm just gonna pressure rotate it into place a little better, and we can put this back on 
the camera. On the lens. I open the aperture, screw this back in. And this lines up, so hopefully the oval also lines up with the lens mount. Uh, we're gonna put the lens mount back in and see how that goes. So the notch has to go on this side. And my tiny screws are here. Get this going. Not a hole. A trick I've learned after doing a bunch of these Rokinon and Samyang lenses is if you put only one screw and test it on the camera, you can see if it's good and then adjust or go back if needed. So I'm gonna get the GH5 and I'm gonna mount this to the lens. So hopefully this looks like there's an oval in there and it does look like so. I'm gonna mount this here. And we're gonna look at it. Uh, our ovals are a little bit slanted over to the left side. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay. Take out the lens. Turn off the camera. So they're slanted a little bit to the left and by looking at it here, I can see that the oval is a little tilted compared to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go back in, take that screw off, and adjust it. Come out here, this is how I need it. I'm gonna take this out. Uh, one of the sides came out. So this is how it is, and I need it to be a little more counterclockwise or to this side. So I adjust it by just pressuring and rotating it so the tape still sticks and I'm putting it back in. Okay, triangle still aligns with what we want it and here we go again. Rebuild the lens for the second time. Just by looking at it, things are looking a little better. And I'm gonna put it on the GH5 again. So this is how this is, and uh, let's see how we look. better. These ovals are looking a lot more aligned. And if you want to re be really nitpicky, you can do this again, but I'm kind of happy over where this is, so I'm just going to leave at this point. Uh, if you're modding a whole set of these, as you can find instructions on my Anamorphe kit guide, um, there's six of these lenses, so it's a lot of back and forth getting the filters and the oval inserts to the right spot. Once you're happy with placement, you can add the remaining screws. Um, let's do this the right way. I'm gonna take out the screw, take out the mount again, just so I can remove that little piece of tape. I don't wanna leave it in here. So I can peel this off, get rid of it, and then mount the lens. And this is how you anamorphic the 3515 Rokinon or Samyang. It's a pretty easy process. There's only one thing that can really confuse things and it's just a matter of going back and forth. The rest of the set has differences. Some lenses are more complicated, some lenses are simpler. And you can find all of those instructions plus how to mod contact size and a whole set of Russian lenses and a lot more stuff about anamorphaking in my anamorphic it until you make it guide. 
Uh, cool thing is the aperture still works. So if I wanna stop down the lens, I still do stop it easily. Everything works as expected. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose the oval. So you wanna shoot wide open with variable NDs. Uh, I'm Chitov Hedex, and check out the Anamorphic Kit Guide and modify your lenses. Make people believe that you're shooting anamorphic when you're not really. This is way easier, way cheaper, and way faster. Thank you. See you soon.